We'd like to share with you the historic orchards of Manzanar National Historic Site. Manzanar is preserved by the National Park Service and is one of 10 World War II internment camps where Japanese Americans were confined from 1942 to 1945. Here, 10,000 people, most of them U.S. citizens, were held behind barbed wire by the U.S. government for stated reasons of national security. They grew some of their own food within the internment camp, including fruit from orchard trees that were already growing on the land. Today, some of the orchard trees still remain, and they help us better understand what life was like during the camp period. Uh, my name is David Goto. I am the arborist here at Manzanar National Historic Site. And my main duty while I work here at Manzanar is to preserve the historic orchards. Um, and our main goal in preserving this orchard is to one, uh, maintain the historic trees that are alive and also replace the trees that were missing inside the main body of what we are in the wilder orchard. And so, yeah, as you can see, this is a historic Bartlett pear tree of the wilder orchard. Um, it is over almost 100 years old, if not a 100 years old. And when this all first started, uh, these trees were in really bad shape. And so over the past 15 years, Myself and the mans and our staff have worked to bring these trees really back to their historic form and also to keep them disease free and rejuvenate the trees themselves. So during our restoration project here in refilling old spots, um, we have done two different things. We have bought commercially grown stock, which is one, disease resistant, and also it is um, rather pervious to drought. And then also we did custom propagations uh, using the historic trees to uh, graft on to two different rootstocks. One is a Bartlett, Bartlett seedling, which actually would have been taken from a Bartlett tree and then grown as a rootstock and then put the historic tree on top of it. And also we use the rootstock of Old Home in Farmingdale 97, which is a disease resistant, more contemporary rootstock that was developed in the 50s. The National Park Service is working with Lone Pine High School to teach preservation techniques in horticulture to students. Students learn how to graft trees from certified National Park Service arborists. Most fruit trees in the world, including the historic fruit trees at Manzanar, consist of two trees joined together through grafting. The upper part, known as the scion, is joined to the roots or a rootstock through a graft union. To propagate new trees for Manzanar, the students grafted cuttings from the historic trees onto rootstocks. As the students continue to care for the new grafts, they are also helping to care for the future of orchards at Manzanar. And we want them to join up and touch and eventually the cells from each will grow together and become, they'll, they'll form a strong graft union and they'll become one plant. Oh, this is cute. One, two, three. Awesome, guys. Manzanar National Historic Site was created in 1992 enabling the National Park Service to begin to restore parts of the former camp that had been abandoned since 1945. By 1992, the surviving fruit trees were in bad shape. Lots of work was needed to bring them into stable condition. Today, the historic trees are protected and well-maintained. They could live for another 100 years, and the new trees will extend the life of the orchards even further.